Okay, here's everything you'll need to make this little guy. Gorilla tape or duct tape, a miter box, a handsaw. You could actually cut this freehand if you want, if you're good enough. A one inch PVC coupler and a one and a quarter inch ABS pipe, exacto knife or utility knife, sandpaper, and a hot glue gun. And I will show you how I made this little guy, which works perfectly with my uh, cam and my lens cover, or my lens rather. I'll show you how it goes together. First off, remove the rubber eyepiece with the uh, Gorilla liner in it. It slides in beautifully. Then, with my webcam, it meets the lens down inside. It is one sweet setup. I'm really, really happy with it. So, let's get started. So, this is the one inch PVC coupler. As you can see, with this particular camera anyway, it fits in just beautifully. It's a little tight, and that's where the sandpaper is going to come in. It, uh, I have forced it in and I had a bit of a time getting it back out so that's why I took the sandpaper inside and, and uh, took it down a bit works great now with the lens just the one and a quarter inch ABS it fits in really well it's a little sloppy but with the liner in it Bob's your uncle so, For the camera, I only need a quarter inch, that's just enough to put this gray part in. So I'm going to cut it off right here. And for my lens, <clears throat> I only need three quarters of an inch because I want the camera to touch this plastic part. So that's only three quarters, so I'll cut three quarters off the ABS here. The only reason I have, again, I have sandpaper is just to clean up the edges and just give this a little bit of a polish off inside okay I'm gonna cut them off I'm not gonna bore you with that stuff so I'll be back now it's just it's time to clean these guys up just roll it around a piece of sandpaper Like so. This guy, instead of my finger, a little easier on your fingers. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with how to sand. I'm sure you know how. If you're wondering what this funny little table is, it's uh, one of my hobbies is wood carving and I like to play around with wood and carve just started that yesterday so <clears throat> I'll get these cleaned up and I'll come back to you now that I've got them cleaned up I've already pre-cut some Gorilla tape and as you can see that drops right straight through little too loose so I'm just going to apply a liner with Gorilla Tape
that just about perfect. Now here's where the X-Acto knife comes in. I'll try the other way. Nice. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut this right in half. When I'm going to drop it in, and I'm going to have a little gap halfway so that I can fill from here back up with uh, hot glue. Keep it in place. But this is going to keep it centered for me while I do that. So I'm just going to cut this in half. and remove it. I'm just cutting the tape in half, not the core piece here. I'm going to clean this off. This is where my lens will cut. I just got a little bit of debris here. Not debris, but tape. Okay. I put the tape side down. That could be a little snugger. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit more tape on it. Come on. Sticky. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Okay, I'm just going to take it until it's flush. Now, I'm going to heat up the glue gun. I'll turn this off while I'm uh, it's heating up and I'll, I'll do the pour, show you how it works. Okay, now I'm going to put the hot glue in. Come on. There we go. This really locks it in place. it in now.
that's good enough. I'll let that cool off <clears throat> and I will sand it. That is quite gummy when you first start sanding it. You've got to peel crap off. And, but it cleans up real nice. Well, she's cured. It only took a few minutes. Now I'll clean this up. Like I said, it's going to be gummy. I like that. That's fine. It's only for me. I'll clean that edge up a little bit. step further with the 400 grit just to sand it up. Nice. Now <clears throat> the camera is still going to be a little bit tight. Yeah, I can, it'll go, but I don't want it to be busting things apart, trying to get it back out. So, I'll take the handy dandy Dell and sandpaper. You can use your finger. I don't want to. <laughs> Just turn it down a bit. Much better. I can, off, I can push it in all the way, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to give it a little bit of a polish inside. This will make it a little smoother going in and out with the 400 grit. For the liner for the lens piece I've already pre-cut some tape I love this Gorilla tape crazy good stuff I'm just going to drop it in now I can trim this off no problem after separate Exactly one night. is some sticky. Alright, I'll try it this way. I'm just feeding it down into the to the lens cap guy. And I'll trim him off. Uh, 
Okay. <clears throat> Look at that. Beauty fit. There we have it. Voila. I guess you could put a coat of everything on this and make it look squeaky, shiny, brand new kind of thing. Twins. Thanks for watching.